Okay, hello, grade threes. Lovely to see you again. And welcome back to these maths lessons. I am so happy to be doing this. I'm excited. It's fun and it keeps me busy while I'm locked at home and I hope it keeps you busy too. So let's get on with it. But before I go any further, if there are any questions while we are going through the lesson and you're concerned about anything, please feel free to email me on this email address that you can see in the slide here. Right, today's lesson is a maths lesson. Um, and before we go on to the actual sharing lesson that I've got planned for you, I wanted to work a little bit on patterns again. Patterns are very important. Um, and we're focusing on counting in 15s and then 30s and 25s. Um, so let's do the first one. I'm sure this is quite easy for you. I'm sure you can handle this. But if we're adding in 15s, it can be a bit confusing sometimes. So I'd like to recommend that you add in two amounts because 15 is made up of 10 and 5. So add the 10 first or the 5 first and then add on the 10 or the 5 afterwards. So you don't do it all together. So for instance, 15 plus 15, if we add 10 to 15, to 15 we get 25 plus 5 is 30. 30 plus 15, let's add 10 first, 30 plus 10 is 40, plus 5 is 45. And so we go on. Forty-five plus fifteen. I'm going to add the five first. Forty-five plus five is fifty. Plus ten is sixty. Sixty plus fifteen, or well, sixty plus ten is seventy. Plus five is seventy-five. And seventy-five plus fifteen. Let's add on the 5 first, is 75 plus 5 is 80, plus 10 is 90, and 90 plus 15 is 105. Next one, counting in 30s, is very similar to counting in 3s. Let's count in 3s. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21. But when we count in 30s, we are counting in... 10 times the amount. So that when we are adding on 30, we can do it in, in, in 10s. For instance, 30 plus 10 is 40, plus another 10 is 50, plus another 10 is 60. So when we add 30 to 60, let's jump in 10. 60 plus 10 is 70, then 80, then 90. 90 plus 30 well, 90 plus 10 is 100, plus another 10 is 110, plus another 10 is 120. 120 plus 30 is 150. 150 plus 30 is 180. And 180. 80 plus 30, well now we're going to jump across the 100 line, so let's add in 10s. 180 plus 10 is 190, 190 plus 10 is 200, and 200 plus 10 is 210. Right, and if we, um, let me find my laser over here, you can see if we count it in threes, it is 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21. When we count in 30s, it's 30, 60, 90, 120, 150, 180, and 210. You can see the connection between counting in 3s and counting in 30s. Counting in 25s is one of my favorites. I love counting in 25s and in 50s. Right, this is another way we can do it is, is don't have to count in 25s from the beginning. We can split our number up. So we can split 25 into 20 and into 5. 25 plus 25 is 50. 50 plus 25, well, 50 plus 20 is 70 plus 5 is 75. 
Now I'm going to complete the 10 like we did yesterday. Do you remember I was completing the 10? So 75 plus 5 is 80 plus 20 is 100. So there's our pattern 25s. 25 plus 50 plus 75 plus 100. And the pattern starts all over again. 100 plus, 100, 100 plus 25 is 125. Plus 25 is 150. Plus 25 is 175. And then, of course, if we added 25 to 175, we would get to 200. And there we are. Patterns are done. Let's get on to sharing now. Right, sharing. Sharing means sharing equally. So that we have, a, if we have a number of, of items and there are a number of children, we share those things equally between those children. And this particular problem, we have 24 fizzes right here. 24 delicious fizzes. And we have three happy, bright and cheerful children right here. Um, Right, so we're going to pretend that we're sitting on the carpet. What would you be doing at home or in a little circle, the three of you, and in the middle of the carpet, in the middle of you, you had a little box or a packet with 24 fizzes in them, and you were going to chomp those 24 fizzes during the day while you played, and you were sitting down now sharing them. So the most sensible thing to do, I would suggest, is not to count in ones, because that, you could do that. There's nothing wrong with that at all. And if that makes you happy to begin with, I'm happy with that too. It just takes a long time. But there's nothing wrong with it. I'm going to encourage you uh, to do your sharing in slightly bigger numbers. So that uh, it's quicker and more efficient. Uh, so let's do that. Let's go. Let's, let's start counting in five, shall we? Counting in fives. Right, so this little lady here, she gets five. This bouncy guy gets five. And this little girl gets five. We have so far used 15 fizzes. I like to keep track of it because then I know that I'm not going to go over um, and, and I can only use 24. That's my limit. Okay, so we're going to count up again from 15 and I'm going to add two and see if that works. We are going to share our two from now on. So let's go. Counting from 15. If we give this little girl two, we've, we've shared 17, 19, 21, 22, 21. We've used 21 fizzes so far. How many have I got left? Only three. So we can give one to her, one to her, and one to her. Now, if we count how many does each little guy or little girl get, it is eight. They each get eight. Okay, so 24 fizzes shared with three children is eight. And another way to, to write that would be to say, but you don't have to worry about that now, but just to start thinking about that, another word for sharing is 24 divided by 3, which equals 8. But at the moment, as long as you are comfortable with this and you know what this is happening around here. Let's do another one. You feel free to do this on your page as well, guys. You can just draw three little stick figures um, or even three little crosses on your page and see if you can share these along with me while we do it, I do it on my board. Okay, so here is another problem. We've got three little boys this time and they are sharing 51 fizzes. Yo, that's quite a lot of sugar going on there. 51 fizzes and I'm sure that your mom wouldn't be very happy with that, would she? Not a chance. So let's think of a the, the fastest but most accurate way of doing this. If we add and uh, share them in ones again, it'll take a long time, which is nothing wrong with that. But I want to encourage you again to start thinking in slightly bigger numbers. I'm going to start counting 10. So I'm going to hand out 10 to this little guy. And this little man gets 10. And that little guy gets 10. So we have used 30 fizzes so far. How quick was that? 
<coughs> excuse me. Right, let's see if I, I've got about 21 left. So I think I could add in fives. We can just count up from 30 now. Let's, let's start sharing out five fizzes at a time now. So that's 35, 40, 45. Right, so I have now used 45 fizzes. Okay, so now there's not too many left, so I'm going to go in ones from now on, right? So 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51. Be careful that that, that there doesn't look like 15, right? Or that doesn't look like 15. I probably should have moved those little ones away so that you don't get confused and then add 15 plus 10. So let's have a look here. How many does this little guy have all together? All right, so let's count it carefully and not get confused. So we're going to say 10 plus 5 is 15, plus 1 is 16, plus 1 is 17. So everybody gets 17. So 51 fizzes shared amongst three children fairly. They each get 17. Another way of writing that would be 51 divided by 3. Shared, it's another word. Divide and share means the same thing. Equals 17. Are you getting it? Great. Next slide. Right, now we've got four little guys. We've had another little mate arrive to join in the fun. And these little boys are going to be playing marbles. Well, I wonder how long it'll take before we can play with our friends and have sleepovers and all that stuff. But never mind, let's just uh, enjoy what privileges we do have. Right, so here we go. We have four boys sharing 56 marbles. Um, let's start. I know. Let's, we can start with 10, 20, 30, 40. I have used 40 marbles. This is quite quick. There seems to be about 16 left over. So I'm going to count in twos. I'm going to share out two just to be safe. So let's go 42, 44. 46, 48, 14, uh, 50, 52, 54, 56. Wow, cool. So each guy gets 10 plus 2 plus 2, which is 14. They each get 14. And another way of writing that, of course, is 56 divided by uh, 4 equals 14. Right, five ghouls. Ghouls love stickers. Five ghouls sitting in a little group and they are going to share out 75 stickers. How many are they each going to get? Okay, again, I'm going to start, I'm going to start um, sharing in 10 because that's quite a big number, 75. So let's go 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 50. Right, great, I've used 50. Okay, let's add around five now. Let's add five for each child. We've got 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75. There we go. So now 
75 shared amongst five girls, what have I got? Each girl gets 10 plus 5, which is 15. Right, grade 3. So, there is a method that you can use to share out equally that I think uh, helps you to understand what sharing is. And just remember that we don't really talk a lot about dividing in grade 3, but just to give you a hint and a little suggestion that dividing and sharing is the same thing. At the end of this lesson, there will be a worksheet for you guys to do, so you can download it and you can print it. Um, and there's also a memo sheet which you can download, where you don't have to print it, but you can mark your own work. And just to remember again that um, you are welcome to email me um, at the grade 3 email address and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Grade 3s, have a lovely, lovely day further, but don't forget, at 10 o'clock, I will be doing my next English lesson. So see you then, guys. Bye for now.